If you are measuring low flows with your duct tester, then you will use a smaller range size. If you're measuring a supply, then you will attach the flex to the inlet side of the fan. And if you measure a return, like we're gonna do in this demonstration, then you will attach it to the outlet or black side of the fan. Connect your gauge to the fan with the umbilical, just like you would if you were going to do a duct test, matching all the color coordinated ports to the tubing with the data cable plugged into the top of the gauge if you were gonna use the set pressure feature to take a reading. You'll make the same connections on the fan. If you're gonna use the data cable, plug it into the end port, then the green tube into the green, the yellow tube into the yellow. Make sure the power cable is plugged in and that the fan is powered on. Next, you'll connect the other end of your flex to the flow hood. Make sure you have a good connection all the way around the collar and that you use the Velcro strap to pull it tight so that you have a good seal all the way around. The other end of the blue tube coming from your gauge will go to the blue port on the hood. Cover the area you want to measure with the hood. Make sure you have a good seal all the way around. If you're measuring a return or supply in the ceiling, you can use extension poles to connect to the hood to brace it between the ceiling and the floor so you don't have to hold on to it. Two painter's extension poles will work fine. Once you have the equipment set up, there are a few different options you can choose from to take a reading. The first is the set pressure feature. Simply hit set pressure, type zero, and then the fan will automatically turn on and pressure match. You wanna seek zero because you wanna neutralize the pressure inside the flow hood. The second option is using the manual dial on the fan. To do this, just unplug the data cable and then you can slowly ramp up the fan until you see zero pascals met on channel A of the manometer. The third option, the one we'll use today, is using the speed control slider on the DM32X. This requires the data cable to be plugged in. You can simply control the speed of the fan with the slider and then slightly adjust until you meet zero pascals on channel A of the gauge. If you notice that the reading on channel A is getting further away from zero as the fan speed increases, it is likely that you have the fan facing in the wrong direction. In this example, as we're starting to reach our target of zero pascals on channel A, you can see that our reading on channel B is 189 CFM, which is the number that we will record. Our fan is set to open. It is set to open on our gauge. Everything is correct. We've reached our target pressure of zero. So this is the flow that we'll record. If we want, we can choose to hold this reading and then power the fan off if we want to talk about it later with a client. If you need further assistance, feel free to reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to help.